Hey guys, it's Sorg here with our brand new show here on Sorgatron Media, The Meeting Minutes. Um, I, you know, we've been wanting to expand uh, to, uh, well, for me, anything that I'm interested to, I'm cool with trying to do a podcast around. Uh, one of the big things, you know, whenever I get a chance, I, I, I'm on Netflix, I'm a cord cutter, so I, I love going to movies, all the blockbusters all summer, and uh, with us is uh, the host of this new show, um, somebody that shared that, uh, uh, you know, kind of of passion for movies we would trade hey check out this trailer all the time when we worked back to back at uh at our old job malengo akbo sambe how you doing hey what's going on and this is the 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 movie minutes so so what are we going to try to accomplish in this show so i think the the main objective of the show is to just talk movies you know there's you have that that moment where you see a good movie and you just want to be like you know at the water cooler around with friends mm -hmm. and just talk about it you know mm -hmm some of the cool things that were in it some of the things that sucked some of the things that maybe jj abrams went a little crazy with <laughs> lens flare bling bling you know so you know what i think that's that's the general idea what we're trying to do get discussion and just have a good time so with it. so pretty much emulating what we used to do in the office when we worked together basically yes mm -hmm. and extending that network hopefully out to other people to get involved and you know have fun Awesome. So what's the first topic we're going to get into here? All right. So the first topic, uh, the fall season started. Mm -hmm. I, I like to break them up in the seasons. That's the way I kind of do it. Mm -hmm. So right now we're in the fall season. The first movie that actually started this fall, uh, it started off with Reddick. With, Riddick. Uh, yeah. Riddick, yeah. With our good old, uh, what's his face? Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Yes. Who, the, the franchise man himself, Vin Diesel, because I, I noticed he d doesn't seem to do anything other than franchises that he knows will make him money. That's true. Although they, it's a different, it's an interesting story behind Reddick, though. Are, are you are you following up on this? What's the story? What do you, uh, what news do you apparently, hear? Apparently, uh, the, the, the articles I've been reading about Riddick, uh, and I did not get a chance to see it over the weekend. I, I've, I've seen a couple of uh, musings about it. Yeah. Uh, but apparently he said if Riddick doesn't do well, or what, no, if Riddick didn't get get done he would lose his house because he put everything <laughs> into riddick because apparently it's one of those things and the story was that fans oh, were coming man. up to him and said if if uh you make a rated r riddick movie i will buy a ticket and so he dedicated to this thing happened D diesel's kind of an interesting guy as far as hollywood goes though. i feel like he's a hit or miss he is he is as far as movies go as far as like anything other than like a fast and the furious or riddick you know yeah but, uh well, I mean, at first I was, you know, pretty interested because I do do a comic strip about movie reviews. Mm -hmm. So at first I was like, all right, you know, I like sci-fi. I kind of liked the first one. The second one, I kind of just forgot about it. <laughs> I was never really a big fanboy of that of yeah. that franchise. Yeah. So, but if you get into it, the games are supposed to be really good. So, but see, that's the games. Mm -hmm. So you're distinguishing a completely different platform. But it's the character. It's character development. I think people are really kind of sold on that world. You know, I, there's been, I think, hasn't there been comic books? There's been an animated uh, movie. So, I mean, there's, there there's, an, animated movie? there's an animated movie. Man, I'm going to have to out. check that out. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think I got to watch it. But, I mean, th this is a world that's been fleshed out a little bit. And Pitch Black really seemed like a very one off, weird, but really interesting and really good sci fi movie. I mean, it has a fan base. So, mm -hmm. I'll give them credit on that. The one thing that I always like to look at before I go, not really as a distinguisher and going to see the movie mm -hmm. i mean right now it's like yes i'm i mean my background is animation and media arts so i'm always going for the visual effects and a good story hopefully but uh i don't know this one seemed to be bumped down for me like yeah. on, on friday i was really interested but i couldn't get to it by sunday i just didn't care and then <laughs> monday i'm like all right now it's down to about netflix or maybe like a five dollar movie matinee really? Really? yeah like the the hype i don't know it's just not there mm -hmm. but uh let's see how much did he spend on actually uh production cost for this i don't movie? think i don't think they put anything uh, my guess is they didn't put anything near what they did for like chronicles of reddick because that was a big universal studios production right yes uh, you find anything in, in, in for any info on that well, I'm not finding it. I'm right now. I'm not getting information on how much money was actually put down, uh, but I mean, they did scrape twenty about twenty million, mm -hmm. and uh, surprisingly, it's already overseas, which is interesting. It's number one, so 
It did. I mean, what was it going up against? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was, there was not much. Like, literally, like, I was away for the, uh, a couple weekends ago over the holiday weekend. And I'm like, really? What am I? Go- I, I was like, I got to get away. I got to get to a movie. And I'm like, yeah, there is nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, it was it was so bad that I saw the butler twice. Oh, what? Yeah. I don't even I know, know what the butler was. Yeah. I did. Uh, I did see the Millers. I acquired it by accident. We'll just go with that. <laughs> I will uh, I will say that that is one that was worth. I would have paid money to it see that. It looks like it was a decent comedy. It was it, it really it was good. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so I mean that's the big one that opened this weekend, and I think um, I mean that's my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinions, mm-hmm. you know. So I think that's that's good. I'm interested. It, it's one of those if I if I found myself looking for a movie to watch, I I go like without a second thought with, with everything that was out there. Yeah, um, it's definitely gonna be one I'm gonna watch out for on Netflix, HBO, whatever it comes across. So that's and that's where um, I'm kind of at. But I don't with it. The, now now disclaimer. I don't really rent. I wait till it's on a service I'm already paying for. Um, which, which really between Netflix and 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 HBO, I got a lot of bases covered. I kind of like to uh, rate my movies based on that. Mm-hmm. Like if I if I really want to see that movie, I will pay full price. Mm-hmm. I will dish out full price. You know that whole thirteen dollars at AMC. I'll sit there with the whole big crowd. That's a movie I want to see. Yeah. If it's one that I'm mildly interested in, I'll do my the, matinee. The big qualifier for me is is this a movie that the experience is better in the in the theater? Yes, exactly. Um, you're probably going to hear that from me a lot, and that's what I saw. The movies I saw this summer were Iron Man. Uh, Superman, uh, yep. the Wolverine. Um, I really wanted to see Pacific Rim because I'm like, oh, just for the experience. But nobody else believes in this movie like I do. Uh, you know, it just bad. I wanted to, you know, so bad. But it got ejected. I, like, the stuff I wanted to see that maybe didn't get big box office, but I think might have been okay movies anyways, yeah. got ejected so quick from the theaters this year. You didn't even have a second chance if you missed that first weekend, it felt like. Well, I mean, there were some weeks where there was literally like two or three movies that came out. And yeah. I was literally, I'm just sitting there like, man, I'm going to have to flip a coin for this. Yes. <laughs> like this, this is but crazy. That's what happens in the summer. <laughs> it gets heated. Yeah, my friends like to pick on me about the fact that I will just throw money at the theaters to go see as many movies as possible. But uh, let's let's just let's move into the next topic mm-hmm. and rolling off that one are like some of the notables that are coming out uh, for the fall season. Mm-hmm. So I mean, right off the bat, I think the number one notable. I know the most recent one coming up is Gravity. I don't know if you... That looks interesting. I did catch I think in front of the Wolverine I saw that one. Yeah. Uh, it, it looks really interesting. I don't know about theater. It could be good for theater, but I think it's uh, one of those... People like, are already lining up for IMAX. Really? For that that would be a fun IMAX one. That would be... This movie, the trailer stresses me out. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> now explain for Greg gra- what is gravity for for you know people that haven't heard of it. So I mean, do you have a? Can you pull up a trailer? I want to try to here. All right. Yeah. So gravity is basically uh, Sandra Bullock and um, uh, I suck with names. George Clooney. Is George there. Clooney. Yeah. Thank you. That that's going to be the running joke on this show. Like, oh, he, who's oh, he that guy. This is the part where the people you know, at home are screaming <laughs> at you. It's freaking George, George Clooney, Clooney, buddy. You idiot. You got the internet in front of you. Jeez. Uh, yeah. So basically, they're uh, they're in space, uh, a space station, or whatever, and they get hit with an asteroid field, which then causes them to go into a tailspin of awesomeness, <laughs> and she happens to just get lost in space. That's what I like to call it. Lost, lost in, space. in space. So basically, uh, they connect, and it's them trying to get back to Earth mm-hmm. by what we can tell in the trailers. Mm-hmm. So I mean, if you if you don't if you're not already motion sick by that trailer, <laughs> you know the Man. the funness about it is it can have no possible good ending. Like <laughs> this is like the guy. This is like the guy that you know is going to cut his foot off in that crevice. Yeah, by the yeah. end of the movie, right? You're just sitting there like, oh my gosh. This can't be good, and like, you're just fixated on. This isn't no. This is this is no Ron Howard, uh, Tom Hanks joint here. Things could just stay bad, <laughs> you know. She ends up just burning in reentry, and yeah, spoiler alert: yeah. maybe I don't know. Who knows? But I mean, the, if you haven't seen this trailer, I would say turn off the lights, sit back, and watch it. It is very entertaining. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, let's see. What are some other? 
Notables. Uh, can I throw one out here? Because one, I, I I didn't realize the trailer was already out here. Um, but ca- Catching Fire. I am. N- I was not a a previous uh, Hunger Games crazy person. Yeah. I, I saw the movie. I really dug it. I thought it was uh, uh, not even reading a book. You know. Yeah. I, I thought it was. I love the style. I love the concept. I didn't watch Battle Royal, so I'm not spoiled spoiled by that concept. Um, I, it was just like, wow, this is like it's kind of a kid's book and it's kind of flashy and then you just killed the crap out of kids you know i mean it was like it just kind of blew my mind when it came to that stuff oh, um man, but i mean no so it was true. fun it was like and lenny and, and and you know not knowing anything going into this other than like there was like they all fight each other right yeah and then, like woody harrelson pops up lenny kravitz pops up like that was like a pleasure that was a surprise sitting in the theater for me and that was the best part for me the whole time because i don't I, even like the little were they really a lot in the trailers at all like I know Elizabeth Banks was in, the, in that first trailer. In the first trailer, with, with or maybe I watched like the very first trailer and nothing else, and said, "Well, this is a movie I gotta go see." I I don't remember. I know that when I saw that movie, the first one, yeah, I was kind of just like, "Oh, well, I mean, this is okay." That's a good. lot of people, like my I'm wife, like, like I'm not like, oh my god, Lords of the Ring, you know, yeah. uh, uh, about it, but still, I mean, the notable. 3D effects, I mean, you could tell like, yeah. they were just pushing it. Yeah. Now, here's some of the cool stuff about this movie. I mean, it's already predicting that it's going to get like over a billion dollars. It's which, be ridiculous. But what makes me excited about this movie is they have a legitimate budget now. Yeah. Money was thrown into this. Oh, yeah. Into this. Oh, this yeah. I'm surprised is, it wasn't for the first one. This is going to be good. I'm, I'm pretty excited. It's not the top of my list, mm-hmm. but I'm pretty excited to see it. And uh, you know, I, my wife spoiled it for me because she read all oh, the no. books. I don't care. I'm like that actually gets me like kind of pumped to see the movie to see like how it's like knowing about the Red Wedding and Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, you haven't watched that yet, have you? Oh yes, you have. I have. Okay. Yes. All right. We'll have to have a we're gonna have to have a Game of Thrones down at some point here on the show then. Oh gosh. Um, because yeah, we just blew through it and up through season three like this year. So we're like. <laughs> new and into it and i bought her crap when i went to the hbo store in new york for the summer so <laughs> give you that idea so uh what else you got there all right we got thor that's another big one thor yes, yes. and happens to be one i have queued up very fortunately awesome um, thing th- about I, this. i'm just up to everything marvel everything marvel they can't do wrong right now and i'll be very surprised when they do oh uh, wait did you say they can't do wrong I've loved everything since The Incredible <laughs> Hulk. I have loved everything since Iron Man. I will probably oh, love geez. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I already subscribed oh to it on Amazon. Did you not sit through the Wolverine movie? The new one? Yes. I loved it. They could do Are wrong. Are you kidding me? Oh, it was a gosh. great movie. Oh, my what goodness. What was wrong with the Wolverine? So much was wrong with it. Like the fact that, oh, if his claws can just grow back that quickly... Then why were we sitting through that entire movie? (laughs) The whole thing was get the whatever the crap's called inside of him, right? Yeah. He chops off the claws. We're going to see Wolverine die from a crippling old age. And then instantly he grows his claws back after the daughter goes like psycho insane with her daddy issues and he's <laughs> who reads stuff spoiler alert, by the way the show is a spoiler no 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 no, no. okay can, okay aside from your our disagreements on the wolverine yes. marvel studios cannot do wrong that's a fox thing okay and they, they did they were and i went back and watched the first wolverine movie right. the description but the well, original wolverine that. movie is not bad they obviously tanked it when it came to the special effects there was an obvious problem there now I will give I you that. With I'm Fox. talking the Marvel Cineverse right now. I'm not even talking Amazing Spider Man. I'm not talking Blade. I'm not talking about Daredevil. I, I'm talking about just from the Iron Man to the Incredible Hulk through the Thors up through the Avengers and going now into the, the what they're calling Phase Two. Yeah. You know, um, I, I have my suspicions, but I'm all in on the Ages of Shield show. I, I I love the idea that they're dipping their toe into that on TV. You know you're not going to see anything really substantial. You're not going to see Captain America on this thing or anything like that. But still, the idea that they do take a character that was a surprise and they made something out of it and they, they're like, well, we can make a cop show out of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's like, 
okay, I'm in for this, you know? Were you not upset at the fact that the main character was killed in the movie and now he's just miraculously alive again? Have you read Marvel Comics? <laughs> Oh, I'm reading a, a comic. Is this a parallel I'm universe? Cable and Deadpool, <laughs> where 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 uh, oh, Deadpool was like, geez. "Well, Cable died about ten issues ago, so he should be back any day now, right? Oh, or until man. the next big crossover." It's like that's that's a running joke. Is I that just, nobody dies? I, you know what? They killed off Jean Grey. Then they brought back Jean Grey from the past, so they can she can be oh, a new Jack. She's up called Phoenix. Duck Phoenix. Oh, whatever. <laughs> no, this is all Jean Grey. She's the Marvel girl. All right, <laughs> what's next? Oh man! But Thor is going to be awesome. I think Thor is going to be great. I'm hoping it's going to be good. My one issue is the better a movie trailer looks, it's usually a scary sign mm-hmm. that the movie might not. <laughs> really? Be this is a thing. I've had that. That really? seems to, that seems to happen with me. It scares me. All right, another one of my uh, I think notables. Um, the Wolf of Wall Street. What is this? I'm pretty excited about this. I don't know this. This is a. Uh, Again, I suck with names, so I am sorry, Internet. You can. I hear Wall me. Street, and I automatically think Michael Douglas. I'm going to pull it up here in a second, though. Um, Martin Scorsese uh, with uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio, Jonah Hill, Matthew McConaughey. Uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of pretty significant they people. They throw in this. a midget in the trailer. All right, I'm in. You have to see that. <laughs> you got me. You have me at midget. You backtracked me to throw, and I'm good. Um, a pretty exa- it, you know, it deals with uh, basically Wall Street. It yeah. deals with the craziness of that. I think it's just going to be a really well done movie. Is it like a drama, comedy? What, where are we going with? I this? think it's I like mean, dark, dark. Uh, dark I'm not going to say. Kind of I don't okay. think it's a comedy. I think it's a drama. It's one of the, oh, he's talking at the camera. We've got some fourth wall, so this is going to be some indi- independent kind of weirdness. Wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, it is a All biography, right, I'm saying. A biography, yeah, really? Yeah, crime fiction drama. Okay. So, I mean, that even that description just goes everywhere. People will die. <laughs> we're getting we're getting, this is from a little bit ago, but we're we're, we're getting thrown on the bus because we were talking about games of Game of Thrones and it's not a movie. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know. We will talk television. We will talk television. We will. It's a little bit of Sorry, a misleading people. title. Maybe we'll work on that. I don't know. Yeah, we can look at it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What else do I have on here as my notables? <clears throat> How many did I just say? I, I think it was three. Right? Like four or so. I don't know. I said great. Oh, my last notable. I think. I think this is a guy movie. Rush. You know, I just watched the trailer before you got in here. Um, I, I, like, first you think, like, okay, sure, it's, uh, it's Days of Thunder. Yeah. But it's a very good looking Days of Thunder. It's, like, growing <laughs> on me. It's, uh, good. I was kind of like, okay, I'd watch that. You know? I, I like, yeah. It's, it's Ron it's Howard definitely. Flick? Is this a? Is this a, speaking of? Because we were talking about earlier. Is this a Ron Howard true story joint? Uh, is it? I, I don't know if it's true story, but I know it's Ron Howard. So, um, but no, I, I think it could be good. Um, and so it's like uh, I don't know much about the story. So it's like it's Formula One cars. Um, basically, uh, one guy pushing another guy. I think. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, Ron Hire, uh, Ron Howard's mm-hmm. uh, biopic. Yeah, there you go. So. Formula One racers, James Hunt and Nicky Ludi. So, uh, yeah, based on a true story. So, it, it looks like it could be interesting. Um, so, well, NASCAR is one of the biggest sports right now. I know this is yeah. Formula One, but uh, there's a huge audience for that. I mean, right it's now. just cars. It's fast cars. It's fast cars. I mean, if and that's going to piss Diesel off half the not. audience. <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> Oh man! But yes, those I think are my top five uh, ones that I'm pretty interested to see. Okay, uh, coming up. Sure. Uh, so yeah, next time you're gonna have to do your homework if people want to write in. <laughs> uh, no, no, actually, I agreed with you on on a few of those. Uh, yeah, really, Thor, that Riddick. Uh, what else did I watch? Not Romeo and Juliet. Uh, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs too. Hello. Uh uh-uh. uh No. No. You, did you enjoy the first one? Barely. Barely? Barely. Wow. I forget what studio does that. That's not Blue Sky, is it? That was DreamWorks. Is it DreamWorks? I think it's DreamWorks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> DreamWorks has not been 100% over the years, though. How to Train Your Dragon takes yeah. them so high, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they do something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have a friend that works at DreamWorks, so I don't know how much I want to actually bash them. But I'll, I won't be biased. <laughs> work, find, out, find out if he works on Cloudy. He work, uh, <laughs> find out if he worked on Cloudy. 
And then, uh, that's all I can say about that. <laughs> I'll probably just go with that. Have you seen? Like, all right. If you watch the trailer mm-hmm. and you don't throw up a little bit in your mouth, there mm-hmm. you go. Mm-hmm. I didn't get much so, through it. Some I, of the I've references seen, I've are seen funny. the short trailer. You know? I will say some of the references are funny, but mm-hmm. it's almost like they're reaching for jokes. Mm-hmm. And that reminds me of Shrek. What, what are they up to now? Shrek 10? 11? <laughs> That's true. Well, And there's going to be a series on Netflix oh, for Shrek. Just, I mean, DreamWorks, sorry, um, DreamWorks had a show for Turbo, the <laughs> snail movie, yeah, before it was before released. Before it even came in, out. In planning for Netflix. That's just sad. That's, they are uh, Netflix is all about the capitalizations, whether it works or not. That's so. just yeah, not cool. All right, well, real quick, uh, you know, I don't really care about Emmy notables, but I did know that there are two of them. For people out there that I guess probably care, I would say uh, there's a Mandela movie coming out. Um, the the dude. I'm going to butcher his name, so I don't even want to say it. But the guy that was in uh, Pacific Rim, which you said you didn't Del Toro? see. No, the uh, Idiris Elba. <laughs> here's here's, uh, here's a fun connection between this show and Pacific Rim, a DVD documentary I released earlier this year. Yeah. It has a guy in it that is in Pacific Rim. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Blonde Russian dude. I don't know what the hell his name is on there. The blo- oh the Russian guy yeah 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 interesting yeah we talked to him for a doc well the the black guy the black commander guy okay. is playing Mandela that's sad I'm sorry <laughs> I we're just, so great I with names <laughs> boom do your research the internet is angry <laughs> anyway I think that that is placed to be an Oscar winner Why should be uh, Idris Elba. Yes, I okay. told you I'm going to butcher his name. All right, I'm sure I didn't do a good job either. <laughs> uh, I think the other, the other maybe notable one is a movie called Parkland, which is just basically the uh, JFK assassination. Okay, the yeah, yeah I, was, I was looking at that too. The doctor's view of it. So, uh, so a bunch of movies are going to make me sad. Yes, yes. <laughs> And uh, because my background is animation, I will throw out the only animation in the fall season that I am interested in is Frozen. Okay. By Disney. But sadly enough, Disney already butchered one movie this year called Planes. And that's all I'm going to yeah. say about that. Yeah, this, is, this is supposed to not happen anymore because the Pixar guys are in charge, right? This you was would the think dream. so, right? We had a wreck at Ralph last year and it was uh, amazing. You would think so. I think this was I I joked around and said this was like the B team. Oh. This, was, this, was like, this should have been the straight to straight to DVD team. That's what or they something. said. It was the straight to DVD team that did this. They're the ones who worked on it. Mm-hmm. Oh it's, wait, so the planes people worked on this too? Is that what you're saying? So wait, wait, there we no, go. No, no, so no. So what, what is the concept? Wrecked Ralph fro- people worked, on, worked this. on this. Okay. I believe so. So what's the concept for Frozen? So from what I can tell by this crazy little trailer, it just seems like I don't actually. It's here's Disney, the thing. It looks like Disney's Ice Age. I got to be honest. I'm not even sure what this is about. That <laughs> animation just looked good. Uh, they show a snowman with his nose popping off. Yeah, yeah. It's like a funny, quirky thing. Yeah. I don't know if it's like a playoff, like Frosty the Snowman. But if you look at like screenshots from the poster. They just have two white people. It's like they go back to Disney, like, <laughs> traditional, like, let's just throw oh, no, on, like, your, your white I saw it in the last page. Let me see if I can pull it up. So it's like, what happens to the snowman? Like, uh, so I was like, uh, no, we got a new Disney princess. Congratulations. There's some couple of white girls. What's <laughs> up? There's a castle. I don't know about no snowman. What happens to our snowman? I don't know. They just tease us. That's what they like to do. All right, let's uh, let's wrap this show up. This was the Sounds first. Like a good idea. This is the first one. So, okay. hey, real quick, what are you watching on TV? What am I watching on TV? Or Netflix? I just went through the last two seasons of Weeds. 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 Wow, you went old school. Oh, yeah, old school. And then I was watching the first episode because I was testing out my Chromecast that came in today, and it nice. was like, I just need to press something on my phone. Um, I thought it was really good. Okay. Um, I it, it was I, I one comment I put out on Twitter over the weekend was just when I think this thing is jumping the shark with all the craziness that's happening from season to season, yeah, it just works. 
Nice. Like every season. And then going back and watching like the first like five minutes of the first episode, realize how different of a show it became. <laughs> you know? Um, no, really enjoyed that. Uh, really excited that uh, Transformers Prime Season 3 is also on Netflix, so I started watching that. This is the big, um, if you're a Transformers fan, uh, the, the team is dispersed. The Decepticons are winning. This is the Empire Strikes Back time in the Transformers universe, it seems. This is, the, is this the new animated This is the one? new one. This okay. is the one where the characters are kind of based on the Michael Bay ones but it doesn't suck okay um it, it's 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 really good i, I enjoy it. a lot of the old uh uh, uh voices oh well, at least megatron and, and optimus are the same old voices and everything really good I, I i'm really thoroughly enjoying that show nice so it's like the transformers that i've wanted for like 20 years so all right and i uh i finally dropped the or i don't i wouldn't say drop the ball i got on the bandwagon for breaking bad oh yeah i'm loving I, it i'm i'm i, I will i will I, it's depressing, isn't it? It is. Like, it's depressing in a weird, like, like I mean, the way it was described to me is you see this clear protagonist just go bad, mm-hmm. and like the pro- like to see the progression of like this normal guy go from like good to just evilness is kind of cool and depressing. <laughs> I am feeling, yeah, this is going to be one of those ones where when we got everything else off our plate, like like me and my wife are just going to go through it. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. So I, I started season three, and all I will say is Mexicans are awesome, and that's where I'll stay. Oh, from the chat room, Wheels is in there. He says that uh, the Robocop trailer looks great to him. I'm, I'm, I enjoyed it, too. By the way, I think it's going to be good. Is that a fall movie? Um, I don't think, I think it's, it's next fall. year. I think it's next year. So um, I think it's placed in the. In the uh, sadly to say, I think it's placed in that like time frame mm-hmm. where movies go to die. <laughs> like, oh, Christmas! Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, and he says uh, he's also been watching Airwolf. 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 There you go. All right. Well. Uh, so, Mike, why don't you uh, say where they can find this show? Well, you can find the show. We're at SorgatronMedia.com. It's brand new, so uh, we're still kind of figuring out what we want to do with the Twitter and the YouTube. But we wanted to get something yep. down and see how it flowed and see how this happened. So, in Pop the meantime, the pop some popcorn. In the meantime, if you want to hit us up on Twitter about the show, um, uh, at Sorgatron Media on Twitter, uh, and all that stuff's on Google Plus and Facebook as well. So let us know what you thought about uh, uh, the Movie Minute here uh, with Malengo. Malengo's Movie Minute. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, uh, let us know what movies you're anticipating for this. Uh, exactly. So uh, we're going to, uh, as we uh, uh, put this out on the platforms, we're going to have all that stuff linked over at SorgatronMedia.com, as well as you know all the other productions you see, a lot of geekery. Uh, going on there a lot of geekery Uh, so go check that out thank you guys uh, for watching the first show Uh, yeah thanks do you have an uh, do do you have an out oh wait you have have a question don't you yeah yeah no it's just uh you know what what are people watching just let let us us know. know Let us know, um, and you know, on all the social medias at Rambling Mango for him, at Sorgatron for me, yep. and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Awesome, out. <laughs>